And welcome back to some more Bengal Tiger. Currently beating up on Bamani's. Oops, I I need this one here. Go there. And soon to be uh, bashing on the Timmies as well. Got a couple of more sieges done. Let's just put them down here as well. Well, now it's going really fast. I could probably end the war with them now. I don't have to attack them. Uh, maybe. Let's see um, what they'll give me. I have claims on all of this. And Malva does not have any claims on that. Nope. So we are free to go. Let's see what they will actually give us. So let's take all of this. That's going to cost 111. So forget about West Bira. We are currently minus 73 for that. Why are we on minus 73? Uh, demands exceed war score. Okay, whatever. We'll just continue a little bit. Uh, now the siege is done. I think we got enough regiments down here. We just need the uh, general. He's there. Okay, let these two guys come in there as well. Uh, let's take him out. There we go. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Lost a claim on Gorakpur. It's probably up here as well. Yeah, that's not one. We can uh, we can claim that again. No problem. All right, so let's leave a siege here with whatever it uh, tells me to leave. And let's get the rest up here. Let's meet in Chandler. We got a few more regiments that we can uh, release from here. All right. Let's head north to the Timmies. Let's actually head north right now. Yeah, because they are starting to show up now. I think Delhi's got it under control, but you never know. They have uh, peaced out with Kara. Kara had taken a couple of provinces there. There's still a war with the Uzbeks, though. So let's get the let's get busy. Delhi is okay, no problem. That was just a royal marriage. Another siege is done. We'll meet over here. Oh, I forgot about my coffee. I got coffee here. Good coffee. So, what, four sieges left down here? Right. Three. Two. There's a long way to Kashmir from southern India. And now finally Delhi is sitting down Ladakh that I told them to. Great work guys. Now let's take a look at Samarkand. So to get this achievement we need to take Samarkand, the capital. And that means we have to isolate it somehow. And it looks like Uzbek has gotten some of the provinces that uh, surround Samarkand. But if we and we there's no way we can get all the um, provinces in one go, but uh, we'll move in that direction. All right. Take out some Timmies. They are military seven. Oh, they just moved to eight as well. 
Alright, we got another army here. Let's move that up. Or you can move through here. That's very handy. And there's still two sieges left down here. I'll look at Vijayanagar, ready to take advantage of the situation. They've got some cores and stuff over there. They'll probably uh, chime in soon. Siege of North Konkan, so that means there's only one siege left down there. And we are starting to bash some Timmies. Yeah, stag wipe. Let's get the next ones. This is Hills. We'll be okay. What kind of general does he have? He's rolling a zero shock general. That's okay. Gain stability? Sure. Can't say no to that. So what is the way to go here? Let's see how many troops does he actually have. We can't see it here because Golden Horde and Kassan is in this one, so we have to go this way. I'll go back to the top. Timrids. Where are they? Oh my god. They've got 3,000 men. And that's more or less what I can see here. So they are... Um, they're gonna fall apart. That's for sure. Well, that probably means we are going on a sieging run here. So, Right, so let's move two guys up there. And two guys up there. And two guys in here. Let's just move the rest in this way. Kiva or Persia vassal? What do you mean? Kiva or Persia vassal? Or from me? Yeah, that is possible. Although I think it's a little bit overkill for this achievement. I just need to surround the capital. Um, I'm not going to take all of Persia. Legendary Marvin says the tooltip for the troops in the war screen states which nation has how many troops. Yeah, of course that is. Uh, uh, where do you see that? Oh, for the troops, right? Here we go. Right, that is a bit easier. So too much three and zero and four. Yeah. They have like 3,600. Golden Horde is what's keeping them up. And they are on the other side somewhere. And this, yeah, you can see this is one of their provinces. They're over here somewhere. We're not going to be encountering them. At least I think so. I still got one uh, siege down there. Thanks for the tips. Sometimes you are a little bit blind. Okay, Uzbek already got this one sieged down, so no need to bother. Let's take that one instead. And let's move on to Kabul. Which means we gotta leave some guys behind. And move to Kabul. I have a whole new army coming up here, so I'm I'm gonna siege out a lot of land now. Only gotta watch out for <coughs> suddenly a golden horde army arriving or something like that. So Uzbeks, can I get Kulab? I think so. Just get two guys up there. And leave two guys here, and then move that way. All right. Let's take the rest of these guys and move them to Samarkand, the capital. Unless Uzbek is already sieging that out, I don't think there are. Malva declared on Baluchistan. All right. And they did not bring me in. All 
All right, so I got a whole new army right here. Let's move them into action. And these two guys you can send to uh, this province here. Right, so we are now switching down Samarkand. Importing iron. What do you got for me? Gain military power or mercantilism? Well, mercantilism is nice. I am capped, by the way, on Diplo. Gain two mercantilism. I'll take the power. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this now. I still have a couple of hundred points, 156. Right, so what do you guys think? I am thinking, um, I'm thinking influence ideas. Because beside the diplomatic reputation, they also have some. Um, uh, let's see, this one aggressive expansion minus twenty percent is pretty handy. Income from vassals is good once I um, I grow Delhi stronger. They will have a lot of income. Agreed, like uh, the influence. Yeah, I think we'll pick this one. Unless I get something else. Nope. All right. We pick influence. And I'm just gonna grab some of them right off the bat here. So income from vassals plus 25%. Uh, time to fabricate claims. Yeah, sure. Let's take that as well. And that also gave me trade efficiency from my national ideas. And we can pick diplomatic annexation costs minus 25%. Sure. And then I still need two more to get the um, aggressive expansion and the diplomatic reputation. Those two are very useful. Uh, they will come in later. And that will also give me national manpower modifier plus 20%. So that's good. How are we doing on the uh, military tech? That's okay. Good. Let's move on. I've got 13 regiments coming in here. I gotta watch out for these guys. They are occupied by Khorasani Patriots. And I have tried that many times that uh, I have like a, t a two stack sieging out a province and then you got the rebels coming in with uh, 20 or something. Bang. Alright, let's see how many troops did they raise. 3,004. They have about 5,000 men somewhere. How much attrition am I taking here? 3%? Okay, let's divide this in two. I put one in Bamian here and leave the other one there. This is how it's gonna be. But we can know where we can uh, copy teach him anyway. So Uzbeks are leaving this one now. That's interesting. In that case, let's uh, provide two regiments from here and move them up there. Fill the void. Lost a claim. Let me just check one thing here. Claim on Varanasi. That was this one. Let's get that back. And I have an, uh, too many diplomatic relations. That's because I um, I still got the um, oh I, I'm guaranteeing Orissa. Yeah, I could get rid of that. But I'm gonna remove the military access from Vijay and Aga as soon as I get this siege done. So that's okay. And that was that. So let's just move them out. Of course, I could use my fleet to move them out, but that would just be annoying. And let's cancel the military access. Diplomacy. 
cancel military access. That should take care of that problem. Let's move these guys north. Monetary reforms. Lose stability or gain inflation. I am gonna gain inflation. Alright, so can we take them out now? Uh, that might be uh, possible. Or should I use the war score from this to gain more from the Timurids? I think that's actually the way to go. Now, how... Um, how much... Uh, let's see, nothing, okay. So no rebels will pop up. I got a hostile siege in Kashmir. I certainly do. No, that's not going to be of any issue. Yeah, I think I'm going to go hard in on the Timmies. Because that is, after all, what it's all about. And that was the... Um, nope, nothing. Uzbeks is still at war with them. Yep. And they're going to help me with the siege of Samarkand. That's very nice of them. Speaking of which, it has now fallen. Alright, so uh, what do we got here? We can divide this in two. Take Kashi and Bukhara. Delhi, what are you doing? You're just standing there? Why don't you take out these guys? That's stupid. Okay, these guys will go... Where will they go? Maimana. Another infidel. That's okay, we can lose the party. That's not a big issue. All right. I still got a, a sizable army here in case uh, the Timmy should show up or something else like that. Okay, let's go down and siege out Kandahar. And where did the uh, <laughs> where did the Delhi army go? Oh, they went to uh, this is a, a vassal of Timurids, so we want to take that out. All right, I got three guys here. Go take out the guys in Kashmir. Okay, he's moving out. Jalalabad is done. Go to Chajui. So will I catch these guys? Yep. And they do have a leader and it's in the mountains, but we got them anyway. And move them, I don't know, bust. There's some pretty nice names in this area here. Bus and Bam. I don't know. These two can go to Kiva. Oh, good old Timmy's, you are falling apart. Love it. No sign of the rebels yet. Now the siege is done. That was all the way over here. Uh, let's send them to... Are these guys staying there? No. So let's take that. Looks like they're seeking out the um, Timurid army, which is probably over in the west. In the west end. Now here comes the rebels. So, Khorasani Patriots, that's what we have to deal with. Does Khorasan have a claim or core in here? They sure do, so they will come this way. Let me just get out of there. We can move up here. And another siege was done somewhere? Oh, that's here. I'm not sure where to go. Maybe just stack 
stack some uh, regiments here. And that was the timer again. So, end of the episode.